Hello everyone, this is Recycle Band Sticker and I'm your host, Reginald Whitty, aka the roboticizer of the recycle industry. And today we're going to be talking about glass. Glass is actually an amorphous solid and those of you who paid attention in chemistry understand that an amorphous solid is more like a liquid solid. So, um, there are many different types of glasses and as you know, I went to Wikipedia to figure out most of this stuff because it's amazing. So, Wikipedia says that uh, glass, um, glass is commonly used for windows, bottles, eyewear. Examples of glassy materials include soda lime, glass, um, boro, silicate glass, acrylic, acrylic glass, sugar glass, which we know they use in the movies because they can break it, um, Muscovy glass, and aluminum oxytrite. And uh, these are different types of glasses that we have here and I wanted to talk about some recyclable glasses and some non-recyclable glasses so um, these up here these are recyclable glasses as we know all drinking bottles and um, bottles that food comes in or things that human can ingest come in they're mostly recyclable and that's because of the process of the glass recycling plants they have certain temperatures that they operate at and these melt under those temperatures but you have um, other you have other um, elements that you can put in the glass that change the chemical structures of glass like Pyrex Pyrex has a um, I think it's barium in its uh, silicate structure and that means it raises its melting temperature so you can put this in the oven and cook things out of it so that means this is one of the non type of recyclable glass and we also have two more examples of this well two more examples of this and actually one more example here too and these glasses they will not melt under the conditions that will melt these and as we all know um glass is infinitely recyclable because it doesn't have any polymers or anything it just washes over everything and the way glass gets recycled is it comes in you know it gets sorted it gets sorted so we'll put the brown over here and the green over here and then we'll have well put more green over here so it gets sorted and all the clears are over here and it'll get sorted like this and then they take it through the processes and it ends up looking like this and we like to call this cutlet Cutlet is the form that, uh, well, this is actually mixed cutlet right here. And when it gets in this form, they take it, they melt it, and they make more bottles out of it. So that's a straightforward process. Glass recycling is pretty easy. And um, a lot of glass is being recycled here in the United States. And actually, in California, they have a problem with people stealing glass out of the recycle bin and turn it in to make money for they sell. Can you believe this? I can't wait till we have that situation here in Georgia. So um, here is the molecular structure of glass and as we see they um, they said that it, it has no real structure like when we were studying plastics we saw a rigid structure that behaved over the length of the whole polymer chain. But this, we see no real structure. There's just a structure uh, that is bounded by the tetrahedral form of the oxides in the silicon oxide. And so, um, so a couple of ways that not only glass is recycled, but glass is also upcycled. And some of the ways glass is upcycled is it is used in ceramic sanitary where production glass as a flux agent in brick manufacturer. Uh, glass in astroturf and related uh, applications, top dressings, root zones, material or golf bunker sand, glass as water filtration medium, and glass as an embrasive in industry. And they're also making countertops out of glass. Um, who are to all you guys out there who are upcycling um, glass so that we can get rid of this and be comfortable with abundance. So, how is glass used in robotics? Well, as we know, we're living in an age now where we have touchscreen technology that's made out of glass. Well, I say let's keep that up. But otherwise, the main components of robotics is the assembly lines that get this all going because they actually have systems, industrial systems, where you can single stream glass. That means they have whole processes 
that are mechanically done that separate out your different colors of glass. And we know the plant manager here in Georgia in East Point with strategic materials and she talked about that plant. So we have we this is not something I'm just making up. So how is glad how can glass be used in the future in robotics? Well, it it pretty much can. Like this is this is pretty much from my vision, this is pretty much it for glass. We'll we'll use it in touch screens and vision systems. That's pretty much it. Alrighty, together, me and you, we are roboticizing recycling.